Nollywood actress Nkiru Sivanus used to be one of the top Nollywood actresses back in the 90s and early 2000s but she suddenly stopped acting for unknown reasons so in this video we are going to talk about that just make sure you watch this video to the end and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new turn on the bell notification icon to be notified anytime i drop new videos follow me on instagram at ejimozi ejimozy -E i'm always active on instagram just follow me there so let's get right into the video Actually, Nkiru Sivanus joined the Nigerian movie industry in the year 1999, acting minor characters. She started acting at the age of 17, before she made her official debut in the movie titled Terrible Sin in 2001. In the year 2001, she rose to fame. You would probably remember her in the role of Felix Okuro's movie titled Out of Cage, as well as her role in the movie titled A Cry for Help. Actually. The movie A Cry for Help brought her to limelight and made her a household name among Nigerian movie lovers. In that movie, she played the role of a poor orphan who was maltreated by her foster parents. She is popularly known for her crying ability in movies. I could remember that year when watching her movies, we do cry with her whenever she cries in movies. <laughs> She gained more popularity in 2003 after starring in the movie Egg of Life alongside Pete Educhi, Eberu Karu, and other top veteran Hollywood actors. She was at the peak of her career when she suddenly stopped acting. Nikiru Sivanus was last featured in the movie titled Final Tozo. In 2008 before she ventured into politics. In 2011, she was appointed as special assistant on Lagos affairs to former Imo state governor and later became his special advisor on public affairs. The appointment was greeted with a series of controversies and criticism from opposition given that Nkiru Sevanus is not from Imo state. Then in 2012, Nkiru Sevanus alongside Kenneth Okolie were kidnapped while on set of a movie. This made her to stop acting for a while. Since then, we haven't seen much of her or seen her dominate the front page or appear on screen. She stopped acting to venture completely into political affairs and mixed several rumors that she was Ruchas Okocha's mistress. The actress was first linked to an heir to Vice President Sambo's head, Umasani. Rumor says that she reportedly married him while his now late wife, Hajia Sahura Uma, was receiving treatment at a hospital in Egypt, but she later debunked it. The wedding reportedly held in January 2013. However, sources close to Umasani says that Nkiru broke up with him less than two weeks after their secret traditional marriage because she was afraid of sharing Sani's bed with another woman. Sadly, Uma lost his 32 year old wife in June 2013, close to six months after Nkiru left him. Several months later, Stanley Duru, Ogo Koye's ex-husband, came back into Nkiru Sivanu's life and she accepted to marry him. But when Ogo Koye's people told her the kind of man Stanley Duru is, she was said to have called off the wedding at the last minute. A source close to Nkiru said that the actress told her family members that she would rather remain single for life than to marry a womanizer like Stanley Duru. That was how her marriage plan was cancelled at the last minute. Although the actress refuted the rumors in an interview with Linda Ikeji's blog, saying, and I quote, Okay, first, I have been married on the internet for more than three times. They first got me married in 2008. Then they got me married again in 2011. And now they are getting me married again in 2014 slash 2015. I am beginning to ask, why do they like to get me married? If I were married in 2008, and I get married in 2011, why again should I be getting married again in 2015? That means they all were lies. It's all rumors. Some people will report this stuff that like they know me when they only see me on TV. Now that she's back into acting, Nkiru Sivanus has acted in a number of Nollywood movies in recent time. She is now a movie producer and her first ever produced movie is titled The Voice. According to her, 
they started movie production because there were a lack of professionalism in the Nigerian movie industry and she also added that her strength is in writing. Talking about writing movies, she wrote the movie titled My Blood, produced by Magic Movies. Nkiru Sivanus also ventured into music. Nkiru Sivanus is a singer actually. She has released a couple of songs to her credit. The actress, who just launched an album titled I'm Not Afraid, spoke on her plans for music. The actress has been hiding her passion for music for a while and developed the boldness to use the hidden talent. The 15th track album was released on the 25th of March 2018 by her record label Kisio Entertainment Network. According to her, she plans to go into full-time music. She however plans to keep acting while at it. I cry to you Lord, you answered me. Where an outstretched arm, you lifted me as in On your pyama, a bakurezurike, narekele. For those of you who don't know, Nkiru Sivanus was born on April 21st, 1982. She is the second child in the family of four children. Born to Mr. Sivanus Muzo from Osisomangwa, a local government area in Abia State, Nigeria. Her mother is a midwife. Nkiru Sivanus attended Ohabian Primary School and Ohabian Girls Secondary School in Aba, Abia State for her basic education. Growing up as a child, seeing her mother as a midwife and her environment influenced her to proceed to the University of Nigeria and Soccer to study medicine. But after two years of studying medicine, she then realized that she wasn't cut out for medicine, that she preferred the art. She then went back to write another YA examination and French jump exams, this time in art. After passing her exams and all of that, she went off to study mass communication at Enugu State University of Science and Technology. My mom is a midwife. So seeing her in the hospital all the time, I, th I, I think that was actually what inspired me. Two years, I discovered that. Uh, I don't think I should be here because I found the better part of me loving to be on the camera. <laughs> you know, appearing before the TV, going for auditions and it was affecting my studies. Thank you very much for having time to watch my video to the end. I have a question for you in the comment section. What do you think about Kiru Sivanus? And what is your favorite in Kiru Sivanus movies? Drop your opinion in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Turn on the bell notification icon to be notified when I drop new videos. Follow me on Instagram at Ejimozi, E J I M O Z Y. I'm always active on Instagram. Just follow me there. Thank you very much and God bless you.